Today we look at the new way of finding the Facebook pixel code because of course the Facebook interface has changed drastically yet again. Hey a time it. if we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so here we are on Facebook and in order to find your Facebook pixel, all you have to do is go to the top right, hit that drop down arrow, go to manage ads, and then you're gonna be met with your ad accounts, whatever they may be, you're gonna click over here, go to the events manager. Notice that this is different. If you scroll down, you're not gonna see anything that says Facebook Pixel. This is drastically different than the interface that you're used to. So as a reminder, this is a brand new interface that is confusing a lot of people. It confused me quite a bit, so that's why I felt the need to make this tutorial. So when you go to the events manager, this is where you're gonna find your Facebook Pixel. If you haven't created a Facebook Pixel before, all you'll have to do is go to connect data sources and then it's going to give you the options of creating your Facebook pixel. And I'll make sure that I leave a link either right up here or somewhere so you can actually see how to actually create your Facebook pixel. What's important for us right now is addressing the issue of what if you already have your Facebook pixel? How can you go back to it and get that code because it's not that easy? You would think that as um, we're gonna use this beta pixel right here, you would think that it would be somewhere, let's just say maybe in the settings. Maybe you could find your pixel right there and get the code from there. Well, you can't. So if you scroll all the way down, you're not gonna be able to do that. If you go to create, maybe I can get that pixel right there. Maybe that's where I go to get that code, but it's not there as well. So all you have to do is go to the overview, go to add events, and then go to from a new website. Now you're back at the place where you can get that code, the code which is your Facebook pixel, and you go to install code, code manually, and there it is. There is that Facebook pixel. It's been hiding from us all of this time. All you have to do is copy that code, and you don't have to go through the rest of it. What I did right there, I'll show it to you once again. You go to overview, add events, Hey, one quick second, I'll let you get right back to the video, but if you could do me a huge favor, can you go down to the comment section down below and let me know if it worked? That would help me out a ton, and on your way back up to the video, if you can smash like, that would be great. Right here, you're telling Facebook that you're about to create an event, but you don't have to. An event is something that you're measuring over on your website, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to go through and create the entire thing. What's important for you is to get that base code, get that pixel, and install it on your website. So all you have to do is install that code manually, copy the code, and you're good to go. You can actually close out of this. What's important for you is that Facebook pixel code that is actually hidden now. And now you can take that code and then put it on your landing pages, on your website, anywhere that you want to track what's going on with your Facebook pixel. It is a little bit different, actually considerably different than the way that you were, uh, that you were once able to get your code, but it's here where you can get back to your code. You don't have to create an entire new pixel um, out of frustration, so don't do that. This is where you go to pick it up. Now, as a reminder, when you're checking if your Facebook uh, pixel is installed correctly on your landing page or on your website, all you have to do is download the Facebook pixel helper, which is a Chrome extension, and it'll let you know if your Facebook pixel is installed correctly on your landing page or on your website. So if you're thinking, well, Jaime, I don't know where my Facebook pixel is, and I don't even know if I even installed it correctly. Well, there, what I just showed you is where to go to get your base code, where to get the actual pixel, and then here is where you would go to confirm if your, if your pixel is installed correctly on your landing page or on your website. That's all there is to it. Don't complicate it more than it needs to be. I understand that the interface is a little bit different, but at the end of the day, this is where you go to get your Facebook Pixel code. Well, now that you know how to find the Facebook Pixel, you might be interested in learning everything there possibly is to know about the Facebook Pixel altogether. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.